Hey, what's up everyone? This is Stefan from projectlifemastery.com and today I'm gonna to give you guys a tour of the penthouse that I've been living in for over a year now. Many of you guys have been asking me to do a tour to show you guys where I live and how I live and how I optimize my lifestyle, my environment. So I'm gonna go pretty in depth today. I'm gonna to show you guys um, my office space and a few different things that I use to get the most out of myself, especially as an entrepreneur that works from home. I know many of you guys are aspiring entrepreneurs or entrepreneurs right now that work from home and you want to know how you can be more productive, how you can optimize your environment. So I'm going to go pretty in depth uh, with that in today's video. So right now I'm on my rooftop. This is beautiful Vancouver, British Columbia, Canada, which is where I live. Uh, we're in downtown Vancouver in Yale Town, which is one of the, the nicer, more luxurious uh, parts of downtown Vancouver. Um, I love the city life. I love the incredible view that I have. Um, I love um, the balcony space and the private rooftop. It's one of the reasons why I moved into this place, uh, just so I can get outdoors more often. You know, I oftentimes I'm always working inside and it's nice to get out here and be able to sit down here and take out my laptop and get some sun and uh, be, out, be outdoors a little bit more often. Um, over here, we've got a barbecue. I've actually got two barbecues. And this is great for summertime to be able to have parties um, and have people over. We just had a, a pretty big party with the um, Floyd Mayweather and Conor McGregor fight that just happened. So I had a lot of people up here. Um, over here is my hot tub, which I actually rarely use. Um, Primarily because I, I like to, I'm a pretty healthy person. I don't like having a lot of the chlorines and chemicals in my body, and I've yet to turn it into a salt water hot tub. Uh, but it's amazing here, especially in the evening time, being able to enjoy the incredible view and in the city lights of Vancouver. Uh, if you guys actually look here, this tall building here, um, the gla all glass one is the Sheraton Wall Center. And if, for those of you that have been following me for quite a few years now, I actually used to live in the penthouse of that one um, about a year and a half um, ago or so. And that one was on the 48th floor, had an amazing view. It's actually the second tallest building in Vancouver. Much better view than this, but it was just a lot smaller. So one of the reasons why I moved here is just a lot more space, um, which I enjoy a lot more. And actually, funny enough, if you go look even further down there, there's actually a crane down there. Uh, I'll make sure we focus in on that a little bit later so you guys can see it. But where, right where that crane is, that was actually the building that I lived in beforehand. So for those of you that have been following me for five years, if you go back my videos five years ago, that's where I lived then. I moved from that, I think on like the seventh or ninth floor, uh, from there to the 48th floor, the penthouse, um, to now here too. So. Pretty cool to see, um, just to always be able to look back and see the old uh, environments where I used to live. Okay, so let's walk around here and I'll take you guys inside. Um, there's two levels plus the rooftop. Uh, this uh, apartment is around 2,000 square feet, but it's got about 1,000 square feet of balcony space, um, which is pretty cool. Um, I'm a big fan of basketball, LeBron James, Michael Jordan. Um, they both inspire me. Um, you know, I just, I just love following their careers and what they represent and the work ethic and the mindset that they have. Uh, so big fans of them. I'll take you guys into the living room. Now this is probably where most of you guys recognize the environment from other video, you know, videos that I shoot on my YouTube channel. Uh, first coming over here, I've got my foosball table, which I love. I like to have friends over and like to play some foosball. Um, this is really cool. Actually, it's funny. When I first moved into this place about a year ago or so, um, uh, and I did like a little tour just on my iPhone just showing the environment, I had one YouTube fan uh, leave a comment and said, Stefan, I live in Vancouver. I'm an artist. I'd love to paint you something for your new apartment. And um, you know, he had a really awesome Instagram and everything and he showed me different, you know, um, canvases and things that he painted and he'd done a lot of superhero stuff and I'm a big fan of Batman so I asked him, hey, can you paint something that's related to Batman? And so he actually painted this for me as a housewarming gift um, which is really cool and I had him over here, really great guy. So it's cool to have um, something like that that a fan painted for me. Um, if you come around here, there's a lot of balcony space that goes all around the apartment, so just you get a, a really incredible view and just be able to go outside here in Vancouver. Uh, this is a 75-inch uh, TV, um, which is fun. Again, also fun to have 
you know, uh, parties here and people over to watch, you know, the fights and UFC. I'm pretty uh, uh, into in sports and whatnot. And also, there's a, I think a 7.1 surround sound speaker system. So that also adds some cool effects. Um, let's head out around this way. So here we've got the dining room, kitchen. Um, over here is a bathroom. This is all the entertainment stuff here. I've also I've got a, a PS4 Pro. I don't actually play video games that often. Many of you guys know my history. I used to be really addicted to video games, and it has just consumed my life. And uh, I spent many years of my life avoiding video games at all costs. But now I have one just to when I get together with friends, we you know we play uh, UFC or NBA 2K um, type type of stuff, which is fun. Um, let me show you guys the kitchen. So here, here in these cabinets, if you guys know that I'm into health and optimizing that, these are all supplements here. As you guys can tell, I'm a big uh, nut when it comes to health and optimizing my health and you know, plant-based protein powders and all that. I've shared all that stuff with you guys um, before. Um, if we come around here, this is a water ionizer. Um, this is by a company called Enagic. And this is known as the SD501, I believe. And what it does is it filters, uh, so it filters the water. It's got a pretty high, high, um, high quality filter that the water runs through. Microclusters the molecules. So a lot of water molecules, when they go through pipes, they cluster together. And so when you drink the water, um, you're not fully hydrating yourself. It doesn't go into the, into the cells. And so it breaks up into the clusters, microclusters it, so that it super hydrates your cells. So you actually end up absorbing a lot more um, and hydrating yourself a lot more, especially when it comes to supplements or even medication and whatnot. Uh, but there's different levels they have. They have uh, 2.5, which is more acidic water, all the way up to 9.5, which is a high alkaline water. It's got the alkaline benefit of it too. There's often debates about acid alkaline, um, whatnot. But another benefit is it um, turns the water into an antioxidant. It uh, creates an electrical charge from the water, and um, uh, you know it's, it's got a lot of really awesome health benefits. So drink that every day. This is actually one of the first things I ever invested in when I started to achieve some success and make some money, just because I valued health so much. And it's not cheap. It's I think a four thousand dollar machine but well worth it. Uh, Vitamix Blender, huge fan. Make my smoothies every day with that. Um, so highly recommend Vitamix too. Take you guys into my office. You guys are also seeing this environment a little bit uh, from watching my videos. So first here we got the Lifespan treadmill desk. Big fan of this. Again, I, I, I've always shared that anytime you can um, invest in something that just becomes a part of your daily life. You don't have to think about it. It's just something that, um, you know, it's gonna last the rest of your life. It's always one of the smartest investments that you can make. So for me, as an internet entrepreneur, I spend a lot of time sitting, a lot of time in front of the computer. It's not healthy. Um, most of us are sitting way too often, and as human beings, we're not made to be sitting all day. We're made to be moving and active and, you know, getting outside and whatnot. And so I read a book called uh, Stand Up, or sorry, get up, why your chair is killing you and what to do about it. And it really recommended a treadmill desk. And for me now, this is something, yeah, it costs, I don't know, 1500 bucks or whatever, but I use it every single day. I'm getting more activity, my productivity has gone up, my mood, my energy levels have increased. So many incredible benefits. And so uh, I, I highly recommend something like that. It's been one of my keys to being productive. Um, here we've got my rebounder. Right, Many of you guys have seen me on my rebounder as part of my morning ritual. Um, I like to do it first thing in the morning as well as throughout the day um, also. So for uh, I might take little breaks and hop on the rebounder for 10 minutes or so. Increases my energy, um, helps stimulate the lymphatic system. So good health benefits from that. Of course, you guys can't miss my wall of inspiration. Um, and so when I created my office, I thought, you know, how could I how could I create an environment that inspires me every day, that motivates me? And uh, I've been really a big fan of just optimizing that. And so here are some of the, of the people out there that are public figures that motivate me. First, we got Michael Jordan, um, you know, the greatest basketball player of all time. Um, these are all autographed sports memorabilia, so they're all authentic, at least as far as you can 
get the certificate of authentication and whatnot. But Michael Jordan, LeBron James, Bruce Lee, you know, huge fan of Bruce Lee. Um, this is actually part of um, his training pads that he trained with. Conor McGregor, big fan, you know, especially because he's amazing story of how, you know, a few years ago he was collecting welfare checks. He got into the law of attraction. He watched the movie The Secret, started visualizing and seeing himself create the success that he now enjoys today. So it really goes and demonstrates the power of your mindset, your belief system, confidence, the law of attraction, how you can manifest things into your life. Wayne Gretzky, huge fan, um, especially how great Gretzky is, but also how humble he is. Um, you know, if you've ever watched interviews, and I've studied all these people, um, you watch interviews of him, he's so humble of his greatness uh, and his skills. So it's really impressive. Richard Branson, who's the founder of Virgin, Arnold Schwarzenegger, greatest bodybuilder of all time, amazing success story as an Austrian immigrant coming to the United States, becoming the highest paid actor, becoming the governor, really inspirational. Of course, Muhammad Ali. Sylvester Stallone, Rocky, I'm a huge Rocky fan, you know, I grew up with that, always motivated me. Uh, of course, Tony Robbins, one of my original mentors that really shifted my life when I was around 17 years old. Uh, I got some cool quotes here that I'll read for you guys, and of course, Gohan, you know, I used to be a big anime guy, Dragon Ball Z when I was in high school. Um, here's one of my favorite quotes, and it says, it's by Michael Landon, and it says that someone should tell us right at the start of our lives that we are dying. Then we might live the life to the limit. Every minute of every day, do it, I say. Whatever you want to do, do it now. There are only so many tomorrows. So, powerful quote, always gets me thinking, um, always motivates me and reminds me that you've only got so much time. We've got to make sure that we enjoy our lives. We've got to make sure that we're getting the most of it as possible. Um, this is when I'm sitting down. This is where I, I sit. Um, we got my um, the Blue Yeti mic that I use with a, a pod here to do podcast and, and shoot uh, different uh, content that I do. I'm a big Mac guy, so uh, Mac, MacBook Pro. Got some of my camera equipment here. In fact, my office is getting a little bit crowded now with all this equipment that I have. Um, but the equipment that I use to shoot my YouTube videos with. Okay, coming over here, I've got my flip chart, which is a pretty big beast here and then behind it I've got my glass whiteboard and I usually use this for uh, a lot of the content that I do if you're a member of my life mastery accelerator online business mastery accelerator that's when I bring out the flip chart or oftentimes I put on events or seminars here and I'll use the flip chart for that if we come over here I've got my vision board big fan of vision boards just putting different images things that inspire you and motivate you I like to see that quite often uh, this here is, goes more into my mission statements, my primary question, my values, a lot of good stuff. Here I've got my morning ritual, my evening ritual, and my weekly ritual. And what I do with this is I like to have it written out like a checklist where I can see every day and check off all the little things that I do to make sure that I start the day off in an empowering way, that I give myself the energy, the productivity, I set myself up to win for the day. I'm a big fan of morning rituals, you guys know that. I've got my morning ritual mastery course, if you haven't been through it, highly recommend it. But I've also got an evening ritual, things I do before I go to bed. You know, whether that's reading or journaling or, or some meditation or things that help me reflect on the day and what was great about the day and reflect on it. Um, and then also a weekly ritual that helps me plan out my week. Um, and I'll, I'll maybe do another video that goes a little bit deeper into that. But if you guys want to learn more about rituals, morning ritual mastery is the way to go. Over here, I've got my ultimate vision and my ultimate purpose. And so I like to read that out to myself. That's actually part of my weekly ritual. I like to focus in on my vision, my purpose really associate to that. Uh, coming into here, I've got my bathroom. And uh, this place, by the way, it's two bedrooms, three bathrooms. And I've got some cool things here. First, I've got um, this Life Mastery Blueprint. So you guys know that I'm into life mastery. I'm into making sure that I'm making progress and balancing every area of my life. And so as part of this blueprint, I've got my health and fitness, which is the foundation to everything. I've got my mindset and beliefs. I've got my emotions. I've got relationship, mission and purpose, money, family, friends, fun, and contribution. I actually had some um, designer design this for me and get it framed so I could look at it every day. 
and actually this is something I'm gonna start selling um, as posters for those that are interested as well and having something like this in your home because um, I just find it really motivates me. And then over here we've got a picture of, of Michael Jordan with a quote that um, someone, I did a mastermind event and someone that was one of my clients came over and gifted me this and it says that I failed over and over again in my life and that's why I succeed. So great uh, words of wisdom by the greatest basketball player of all time, that failure is your friend. Feel over and over and over again. That's the key to success, as long as you learn from those failures. Okay, let me uh, now show you guys. I'm gonna come out here. So that, that's the office, guys. Um, oh yeah, one more thing I didn't show you guys. I showed this before. Um, so this right here is from YouTube. So YouTube gives you the, um, uh, this plaque, I guess you could say, uh, once you achieve the milestone of 100,000 YouTube subscribers. So they give this to me, put it up here in my office. Uh, once I get to a million, then they send me another one. So it's just little, cool little accomplishments that uh, you collect along the way. Um, here I've got a great quote, it's what you do in the dash. One of the mentors that I've had is Greg Plitt, who was the number one fitness model in the world and unfortunately passed away a few years ago. Um, but one thing that Greg Plitt used to say a lot is that it's what you do in the dash of life. So if you go to a graveyard and there's a tombstone, then oftentimes it has the date that the person was born dash the date that they died and passed away. And it's what you do in that dash of life from when you're born to when you die. It's what you do in that dash that is what's gonna make you remember, that's gonna make the difference. And you gotta really make sure that you live your life in that dash, because that's what people are gonna talk to you, talk about you, and remember you by. So, always a good reminder, and that's why I've got that um, right here in my office. All right, so now let's head down to the bedroom, and I'll show you guys a little bit of, of that. And I haven't really um, filmed much in my bedroom before, so I'll show you guys a bit of that. And uh, big fan of elephants, bring good luck. Okay, um, so this is my bedroom. Um, so first we got my bed. One thing I love about this place, lots of light, um, which I really enjoy. Uh, okay, so when it comes to optimizing, a few things. So this bed um, here has a few things, number one, I've got this here which is called the chili pad. I've got one of these on each side and what this does is it regulates the temperature of the mattress. And I've really been into hacking my sleep and improving that and um, one of the reasons why people don't have deep quality sleep because it's not about how long you sleep, that, that is important but the quality of the sleep is even more important, especially um, getting as much deep sleep, which is the most beneficial, most restorative type of sleep. So this chili pad here brings down your body temperature at the optimal place so you get a better quality sleep. Oftentimes people, their temperature is too hot, too cold, and it affects the quality of your sleep. Um, this here is a negative ion generator. You can look, look up negative ions, some benefits to that. Got my telescope here that I, I use once in a while, which is nice. Um, here's the other chili pad. So it's actually good for both sides. If you have a partner that you sleep with, you can be, you know, sleep at different temperatures. Often women sleep at a little bit um, different temperature than men. This here um, is known as the Earth Pulse. And this is just the control device uh, for it. But what I actually have is I have two magnets underneath my bed. And what this Earth Pulse does is it creates what is known as PEMF which is pulsed electromagnetic fields or frequencies. And uh, there's a lot of incredible benefits to it, but um, basically it turns my, my bed and sleeping environment into a, a field that allows you to sleep better, get deeper quality sleep. I can link to some of this stuff for you guys in, in the video description as well as a blog post because I know people ask me about the specific products. Um, so I'll link to that. Um, this is the Sleep Master Sleep Mask. When you sleep, you gotta make sure it's as dark as possible. Uh, this here is the Swanee's blue blocking glasses. So this basically, often people spend time before they go to bed um, on their computer, on their TV, on their phone, and it prevents your body from releasing melatonin, which is gonna help you go to sleep. So blue blocking glasses helps so that your body naturally releases melatonin and you go to sleep a lot better. Uh, here I've got my Kindle. This is where I read. Here I've got a journal that I use as well. 
Um, this here is a, a really cool view of Vancouver. Actually, you can see the same things um, that are in this painting here from my apartment. So that science world, which you can see from here, you can see BC Place, the stadium. You can even see my old uh, apartment and everything too. You can even see the apartment I'm living in now from this. Um, so it's a cool, cool painting they have. I'll show you guys the, uh, the bathroom here. All right, so this is walk-in closet. Don't really need to show you guys that. Um, I've got a, a bit of a balcony space here as well. This is the bathroom. Got a good quote here, always remember to fall asleep with a dream and wake up with a purpose. Got a scale here, shower. You guys can, you guys can check that out. I got my yoga mats here, I'm into yoga. And just a few more things I'll show you guys before we wrap up. Got a TV here as well. Although I don't recommend watching TV in bed that often. Uh, so here you got another balcony. I've got another rebounder here as well. I've done a video on rebounding. You guys can find on my YouTube channel if you guys want to check that out. Uh, over here I've got a PEMF mat. Again, that's pulsed electromagnetic field. And I usually lay on this um, at least once or twice a day and I usually meditate on it as well. And again, this is a product that's actually used by NASA because our, our, the entire planet is surrounded by electromagnetic fields. There's a North Pole and there's a South Pole. And NASA uses it because a lot of astronauts that go into space and they're away from Earth's electromagnetic field. And so it can affect your bone density, it can affect your energy, your sleep, a lot of good benefits and a lot of science that goes into this. And so I like to use it every day. I've noticed huge differences from it. If you want to learn more about PM EMFs, you know, you can look it up, but this is uh, known as uh, basically um, a, a measuring device that can measure magnetic fields, electrical fields, and radio microwave fields. And so if you really want to optimize your place, um, you can actually measure from your electronics and different things like that, the, uh, the harmful EMFs that can be affecting your energy and, and whatnot. So this is a cool device to measure it. Um, got my watch collection here. I got a salt lamp. Um, this is uh, oftentimes where I'll do some reading. Uh, I've got my five minute journal here. Got the productivity planner. So this is part of my morning ritual as well. Spend some time doing that. Um, over here, I've got another device. This is known as the Juve. And this is uh, beneficial for red light therapy. And I'll turn this on, it gets a little bit bright. So these red lights are extremely beneficial for your skin and your health. And there's a lot of studies and science that goes behind this. I can link to the website, they've got a lot there. Um, but you spend five minutes a day, just a few inches from it, and what it does is it helps your skin um, create more collagen, which is really beneficial for having really good quality skin, anti-aging. Um, also helps to increase your testosterone uh, in a big way. There's also infrared, infrared light therapy too, and red light therapy. Uh, they have different products that explain the benefits of that. Uh, but this is, again, another worthwhile investment for me. I'm, a, again, a big fan, guys. Anything that you can invest in that's going to improve your life on a day-to-day -day basis, whether it's five minutes a day or your sleep. Sleep is something you're gonna spend a third of your life doing. Doesn't it make sense that you get the highest, best quality sleep possible? Because for me, if I can invest in something that's gonna improve my quality of sleep, what's, what's that gonna mean? That's gonna mean I'm gonna have more energy. I'm gonna be happier. I'm gonna be more productive. I'm gonna make more money. I'm just gonna have a better life in general. So that's why I've invested in these things. Um, and it's just always been worthwhile because you set it and forget it. You don't really have to think about it that often and you just get incredible benefits uh, from it as time goes on. All right, guys, well, that, that's my apartment. That's my place. Uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed the tour. This is where I live. Um, this is where I enjoy to spend my time. Uh, I'm actually uh, not here the entire year. Uh, you guys know I travel a few months out of the year as well. Um, more so summertime is where I really enjoy being in Vancouver, but my ultimate goal is also to get a place in California, spend part of the year in California, and then spend, I usually spend a part of the year going somewhere exotic or different, you know, whether it's Australia or, uh, you know, uh, next month I'm going to Dubai and Oman and uh, Abu Dhabi and Ethiopia and Thailand and Bali, all these different cool places I enjoy because that's what the internet lifestyle provides. And as much as I love Vancouver, Unfortunately, it does rain and uh, the weather's not the best 
in the winter time and so I like to usually escape Vancouver but when I'm back I like to enjoy this apartment and uh, utilize all the tools and everything that I have here in my environment. So listen, I wanna thank you guys for watching this. Hopefully you can be inspired. Hopefully there's some good content, some good ideas in this that can benefit you in your life. Um, I'll link to all the things that I've mentioned for you guys to check out more. If you guys wanna learn more about morning rituals, check out Morning Ritual Mastery, which is my course that teaches that. And of course, what's allowed me to live a lifestyle like this, I'm very grateful is because of this opportunity called an online business and allows me to, um, you know, upgrade my lifestyle in this way and be able to work from home and be able to travel and just have my laptop, the laptop lifestyle, I guess they say. Um, so if you want to learn more about that, I've got a free course that shares seven different ways that I make money online and it goes pretty in depth into different ways and helps you get started sharing the best resources that I have um, on how you can get started with an online business because that's the number one question people ask. How can I start an online business? Well, this course that I put together will show you exactly how to do that. So listen, thank you so much for watching this. Hopefully, hopefully you enjoyed it, and I'll see you guys again in another video. Take care.